guys, this is Mike from Tiny Boats, and today I have a, a interesting video. I tried to post this video not too long ago. I guess it came out the wrong way. It offended a lot of people, but that's really not the point of this video. It's just a demonstration of what not to do, and it specifically has to deal with stuff that I've done that I think is pretty beneficial to use as an example, so you don't ever do this. Check it out. Okay, guys, so this is the first jumbo that I ever built. This is the 12-footer that's been pretty popular here so far. But this wasn't what it always looked like. This is how it actually looked for a very, very long time until I got tired of it and realized that there were huge fundamental flaws. And so I eventually gutted it and got rid of it. The first mistake that I did here was not really knowing anything about wood, what types of wood I could have used. And right here, I seriously overframed the entire boat with the, like the most tar heavy, you know, rot prone wood that was ever going to be there. I didn't preserve any of it. You know, that was a terrible thing. But truth be told, I could have framed that with just as much 2x4s, which is, you know, not the best way to frame. But I could have done it if I'd had a bit better knowledge of wood and different densities, different distinctions and characteristics. And so that was a big fail for me. And just the fact that I stacked and stacked and stacked wood in there, no good. I did to some extent have some knowledge that I was supposed to preserve the plywood because I didn't want it to fall apart eventually. But I preserved it with like the varnish, the sealant, you know, and that stuff eventually evaporates after like two years or so, no matter where you store it. So it's not long term. And so the wood's eventually going to fail. And that's what's unfortunate because, you know, all that carpet and all that glue that I just stuck on here to make it look all nice and fancy is pretty expensive. And then, you know, it's just all going to go to crap. What really made this whole thing bad was I didn't use any proper tools. I used a sawzall and a drill to convert this entire boat. You know, I really needed a jigsaw. I needed a scale saw. I needed a miter saw for a lot of things. You know, it was just bad stuff. And I also had some green tree in there. And then later on, finding that green tree ate aluminum. I thank heaven that there was no real damage done to the boat. But that was fail. I mean, so much stuff. That piece of wood down there was all rotted. And I stuck it down there for a floor. Eventually, it would have fallen through that floor. Just and, you know, and I tried to preserve that with that stupid varnish slash sealant, whatever it was. You know, it was just no good. I would have eventually fallen right through something or something would have fallen loose or something would have shaken up and went out. You know, I didn't preserve it or attach it properly to the bench seats. The only cool thing I really did was this transom. I reinforced the transom and I kind of decently uh, preserved it. So it was pretty cool. But that's about it. And then everything else. I mean, the boat, as far as it worked, was functional. It was cool at the time. But it was just deceivingly bad. Very, very, very bad. And uh, I'm lucky to be alive. Because I took that thing on some very rough water in some very odd cases. And I even caught a bunch of fish on it. I mean, it was working, but it was just not a good idea. There's no reserve buoyancy foam anywhere other than in the bench seats. And there has to be at least 150 pounds of wood in there, if not more. And just... It was a disaster. If I'd have taken on enough waves, I would have sunk. I think would have sunk like a rock. I would have never gotten it back and would have lost everything to include, but possibly my life. But there it is, all nice and bright and shiny. Got a lot of compliments on it. Um, and nobody would know better unless I opened it up and showed them how bad it was. But here it is. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful to you. I was just running through my uh, photo bucket and all kinds of other stuff. And I just saw these old clips of, you know, my first build. And I thought it was important to kind of share those things on. And, uh... Ultimately, that was a really, really botched fail build, but uh, building it, you know, gave me experience and a really, really good understanding of what framing should be later on. So I have a lot of thanks to it, um, but I just think it's it's very important that people kind of like grasp what not to do. There's a lot of examples of what not to do out there, but people won't tell you that's what not to do. So I'm telling you and giving, you know, an honest uh, opinion of what not to do here. And uh, it's pretty expensive. It was it was a lot of money and a lot of time wasted to put that build all together, ultimately to realize that it was a botched failed build that was unsafe, and then I had to gut it and redo it. I mean, I turned it into a pretty epic build later, um, but still, just uh, it's better to do it right the first time versus doing it again. All right, guys, peace. <laughs>